Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, I'm Mike, this is Ink Dependence, and today we have this awesome box from Yoseka Stationery. Uh, I ordered a few things from them the other day, and boy did they get here quickly from New York. So, that was some nice shipping there. Let me get this, uh, get this opened up. Alright, Yoseka always does some nice job packing. I have some extra packing material here. Some things here. This nice little bag. Cool. All right. <laughs> I like how they do these things with like the little little bags and the stamps and the washi tape. Nice stuff. You have some. What does it say? Great. Congrats. Good job. Good job ordering things. I think. There we go. Washi tape is kind of perfect for this because it doesn't wreck the bag when you take it off. All right. So we have some things in here. What do we have? Uh, Yoseka's Planner Roundup. All right, a little advertisement, a little picture of the staff there at Yoseka. All right. That's a place I would like to go for sure. Uh, always a little note in here from, uh, since from Christine. Hi, Mike. Thanks for ordering with us again. The Linen Toolbar inks are such beautiful colors, and I hope you enjoy our Tang Me Sea Blue, uh, sea blue ink. Oh, nice. Well, I am into that. That's a little, little preview of what's coming up. So, uh, firstly... I got a pair of these, and these are 350 a sheet, and these are MU print-on stickers, which are really, these are an interesting thing. So, um, these are transfer stickers, they can be used on paper, wood, glass, and other smooth surfaces, I suppose. But the deal with these is, you cut the pattern out that you want, so like, you know, whatever, whatever pattern you like there, and you kind of cut around the shape, and that's going to be the thing that transfers. So you separate the back paper, paste it on the object you want to print it on, use tools to press on, it says average, but I think they mean kind of hard, tear off the transparent layer on the sticker and print the targeted object, can be printed on the card, journal, or other paper craft, can be stacked to create various visual effects. And these are a thing I kind of want to, I kind of want to mess around with. Two designs times one sheet. So I guess it's two designs, um, well, two sheets with one design each maybe? I don't know, let's see what we have here. This seemed like a pretty low entry price to uh, play with a really interesting idea. I'm sure those of you who do like, you know, scrapbooking and journaling and stuff will have seen these already. Okay, interesting. There we go. All right. All right, so there we go. So the top layer is like this shiny plastic bit, and the bottom is this like kind of fibery backing bit. So what did it say? <laughs> Where did the instructions go? There they are. Um, separate the back paper, paste on the object you want to print it on. I'm gonna have to play with these, uh, just to, like, see what they do. Oh, this is where you hold it, I guess. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it on here. I'm gonna look at, like, some tutorials or something, because they're not a sticker you just, like, stick on, and away you go. They're kinda more complicated. And I'll make a video about these, uh, maybe after I get it figured out, but you use, like, a little wooden, like, stick thing. So anyway, these are pretty interesting. You can get these at Yoseka and a bunch of different kinds of designs. I like these leaf pattern designs and things like that. They have like little quotes in here that are kind of vague looking. Like I'm not sure I can really, can't really read them well. What does that say? I actually don't know what they, what they even say. Um, it looks like they're, yeah, I don't know what these are, but they look kind of fun. And I think these little like, you know, seaweedy leafy bits are a lot of fun. So that's kind of why I got these, just because they were interesting and I hadn't seen anything like them before. Like these are bits of bits of writing that are now stickers that you can sort of transfer onto another thing. I, I don't know. These are these are kind of mystifying to me, and so I'm into that. I like I like a little bit of mystery and like an interesting thing I haven't seen before. So I grabbed those. And there are, I should say, a whole bunch of different designs of those. Uh, these are numbers 199 and 201. So I guess there's at least 201 of them. I don't know if they have them all or what the story is. Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, we have this. Get some of these little odds and ends out of here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Yoseka stickers, of course. 
I always like a little Yoseka sticker. And then these are just a couple little odds and ends that I picked up because I have some things like them and I thought they would be pretty neat. So uh, this is a Sarasa, Zebra Sarasa Mark On. And the Mark On is a pin that I use a fair amount. I've been using the black one for a while. And the thing about the Mark Ons is you can write whatever you want with them and then they're made to be highlighted over and they don't smear. Even with highlighters, it would in general smear uh, smear ink, they don't. So, mark on. And let me get the blue one here. Let me take off the little, take off this little wax tip. Don't forget to take off the wax tip, or it just won't work. All right, we working yet? Yeah, immediately. Okay, cool. So, a couple little mark on. These are just, these are just a gel pen, but uh, this ability to highlight over them is really attractive. And I've only seen these in red, blue, and black. Uh, I don't use red all that much for these kind of pens, so I decided to just grab the blue one on kind of a whim. These are not terribly expensive. They go for $275, so not bad at all. And then these are some uh, Just Fit highlighters, and I really like the Just Fit highlighters because they have this weird little wiggly tip on them. And it's actually it's actually super nice. I use these quite a lot. Uh, oh, this only has one end. Interesting. The ones I the other ones I have have two ends. They have like this highlighter tip, and they have sort of a marker tip on the other side. But this just has the one, which is totally okay. That's fine. But the thing about the Just Fits is that this moves. So when you're highlighting over something, let's see if I can show it on the camera here. It kind of folds over, and so you can actually sort of see. I don't know, it gives you a really nice look at whatever it is you're marking over. And you can just fit it over the thing. And as you can see, yeah, no uh, no smearing or anything with these little gel pens, which is not super common with the gel pen. So there's the pink, and this is sort of a bright green here. Uh, I have green and blue and, um, I don't know, a couple other colors of another style of this uh, Just Fit. But I really like these Just Fit highlighters. And I hadn't used the Mojini line, so I decided to grab a couple of those. And these are not that expensive either. These are like two bucks a piece. I should have just gotten them all, but I don't know. I've got a lot of highlighters, and I'm like, I shouldn't overdo it. But yeah, these are really good. I'm happy with the, with the colors. I'm happy with how these mark-ons work. I'm not surprised at all that they didn't smear or anything. But a lot of times, a lot of times gel pins will smear, which is a little bit of a, a drawback for them. And then lastly, in this little, this other little baggy, a bag of goodies, these are Midori's Pickable Sticky Notes, and they come in a few different styles, you know, separate colors and that sort of thing. But this, yeah, you can sort of you have like three things. So three kinds of post-it notes. So you have this post-it note, which just has a nice little blue, although it actually is more of a blurple. You get like a blurple border there. And this is one that you write on, and you know, it's a, it's a sticky note. So pretty standard situation there. Then the second one is craft paper, which I think is really interesting. I, have, I think a craft paper sticky note is gonna look really cool. I don't know if it's gonna be fountain pen friendly. We'll test that here in a sec. And then this one is like, um, it's like, it's transparent. It's translucent anyway, so you can sort of see through it. Which is kind of cool, and it's a whole different—it's a whole different feel on this. Oh, here we go. I had, I had several sheets there. Yeah, so much more translucent there, which is really interesting. So let's let's see how these work. Um, what should I use? I'll use this. This is Sailor Manio Coke. Uh, yep, no problem on the regular Post-it note style thing. Not surprised by that, it is Midori. Next one. Definitely a little bit more of a toothy feel because it is a craft paper, but it did write on there just fine. Nothing nothing weird happened. And now this one, I'm not sure exactly what this is gonna do. Yeah, I kind of thought so. So this is a much more plasticky sort of feel. It kind of reminds me of the extreme post-it notes, except it's even more plasticky and less, um, you know, less like a, like a paper. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, let's try these mark-ons. How does this work? Yeah, I don't know about gel. I'll grab a ballpoint. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use to write on these. Well, the mark-on actually did work okay. Coke moving? Yeah, Coke moves. The ballpoint actually smears. That oil-based ink doesn't want to adhere to this. 
uh, the mark on the gel pen actually is definitely the best. Let me grab a pencil. I don't really know what to use with these. All right, this is a black wing pearl, nothing wild. And this works just fine. Yeah, no problem with the with the pencil. I think pencil might be the way to go. Uh, might be the way to go on these. And interestingly, you can see straight through them. So yeah, pretty interesting. Does it say anything on here? Yeah, no real, no, <laughs> no real English on here. But tracing paper, interesting, interesting. So yeah, these are these are pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly what to do with these transparent like tracing paper ones, but they certainly are interesting. I, I don't know why I'd want to trace onto a onto a post-it note, but and now I have the option. So there you go, a little Midori uh, post-it notes. These are fun. I love a post-it note or a, sorry, a uh, non-post-it uh, sticky note. But yeah, this is pretty neat. So check these out. These are not that expensive. Well, this is like seven bucks actually. So it was not cheap now that I look back at it. But you know, what are you gonna do? Gotta, gotta spend a little money to try out a cool thing. Okay, and these, these will be inks. So. Ooh. All right, we have four of them here. So I was curious about some of these inks, and so I grabbed some of these linen toolbar inks. Do they all have the names on them? They do. They do. So this one is linen toolbar Dongling Oolong Tea, which I thought would look pretty darn cool. This is from the tea set, the Taiwan tea set. And this goes for 27 bucks in this small, small-ish bottle. Does it feel small? Yeah, 35 mil. So this one was not cheap, but um, I gave it a, I gave it a shot anyway. Thank you very much, patrons, for oh, this is this is nice. I was like, I'll give, I'll definitely give one of these a try. Um, I like an oolong tea. I have no idea what's going on here. Ah. Small hills surrounded by clouds and mists next to the big pool. He hung on the water's edge like a gentle beast. And in more than a hundred years, his body has also silently changed. Along with the cold and humid air, an industry combining withering... Wait. An industry combining withering and flame is happening around the clock. They need the taste of the earth and bake the sage of Taiwanese tea. Ding, uh, dong ding oolong. So, that's interesting. Yeah, let's get a little... Let's do a little bit... We'll swatch of this right quick. I'm just going to use this uh, Kukuyo soft note just because it's what I have around. This is pretty darn fountain pen friendly. Y'all know I like a tea kind of color because they're always interesting, like murky, murky greens. And this one does not disappoint. That is a good, that's got some good murk. Look at the murk there. Let that, let's look on the yeah, there we go. Some serious murk for you. And these are all, I believe, dye-based inks, and they're not the um, pigmented-based inks that I have from Linen Toolbar in other forms. But I wanted to give that a shot. Also, I love this bottle. I think that's just one of the coolest bottles I've seen. Uh, it's up there with Dominant Industry for certain. And then this is from the Ceramics series that Yoseka did. This is Tangmei Se Blue, which is kind of a green in real life, but I think it really depends upon, like, uh, the pottery technique is what the deal is with this color. Uh, I'm not an expert on this, and I haven't done a whole lot of research, but um, this is um, a really nice little bottle. These are 20 bucks for these. Is this is a 35 mil bottle too. Does it even say? Uh, let me look at the let me look at the web page. Yeah, 30 mils. So that's pretty cool. Also, a portion of the proceeds from the sale of these Yo Yoseka ceramics inks will fund the Yanshan Art Museum to support the work of uh, Li Yanzun. So that's pretty cool. I like to support the arts. Let's take a look at this. One of the Yoseka Special Projects inks. You're only going to find this one at Yoseka. Did not want to really stick to my letter opener there. And this is looking like a much looking like a brighter green than I was really anticipating. A friend of mine has this one, and she said that it was really good though in pens. Um, and look at that. There's actually a really nice depth of color in this one. Already happy with it. There you go. And you see the uh, the oolong tea one up here is sort of turning into uh, like a much more gray color than I was anticipating. And this one, as it dries, is giving us a real, 
like gamut of greens and like gray greens in there. I think and look down here, the blues and such. This is cool and very complex and I dig it. And then I got these two. Uh, Wolfberry and Joey, which were spring and winter limited edition inks from 2021 and 2022. So Wolfberry, this one is from the 2021 L winter collection. What do I need to, need to open this? I think I just go across the front. All right. Yeah. All right. Wolfberry. Some more literatures and things in here. The orange red wolfberries in the hot pots always bring us warmth in winter. It is the essential ingredient for winter tonics. People often add wolfberries in their Chinese herb hot pots. Huh. All right. All right, it's another linen toolbar. These actually all four of these are linen toolbar. Uh, I really have liked all the linen toolbar inks that I've used so far. Some of them online look like, they're, look like they're going to be way too light, and so I've avoided a few of them, but oh, dang. Woo! That one is a beautiful. And it does have that look of, like, smashed berries. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I'm going to like that a lot. I sort of went over a little bit of a, a squiggle down here of some kind. I don't know what that was, but uh, so that's going to blend in. But uh, ignore that little blue squiggle. And then lastly, we have this one, which is called Joey. And this is the Spring 2022 Limited Edition. Uh, this one was 24, so not, again, not a not a cheap one. But the toolbar has in the past been very worth it. There we go. Do wish I didn't have to cut through the label to open the bottle, but that's the way she goes. Okay. Um, and I think this has to do with like with some kind of drama or so, some such thing. And Joey is a character. Um, Tular found in Taiwan. Uh, Joey is as beautiful and as thorny as as beautiful as a thorny rose. She only treats her sister Sherry gently. Always try to protect Sherry's beautiful and lovely world. Until seeing her sister getting along with Jimmy made her a little jealous. She seems to be more than just wait. She seems to be more than just love for her sister. So I guess it brought out some other character in that character, or some other qualities in that character. I, I don't know exactly what this is based on, but let's see if I can. There we go. There we go. So let's get in here. So I've got kind of two <laughs> two greens and two two oh that is that is gorgeous. Sort of lightish red and then a very, very vivid red. Just that is that is like somebody <laughs> spilled wine on the page a little bit there. Alright. There we go. I think as this dries, this is going to just keep looking better and better. This one's actually still drying just a little bit here in this corner. The uh, uh, the blue here, Tang Mai, Tang Mai Say Blue. This one has turned an interesting set of colors. Actually, this label is like a pretty okay representation of what this ink is going to look like. More blues and such in here, but I think this also might matter what paper you put it on. Nope, nope, nope. Cat attack. <laughs> so, so there we go all right thanks for watching this little unboxing i'm looking forward to using all these things learning how to use these stickers uh i think they're going to be pretty cool these transfers and it's neat that you can transfer them to so many different sorts of thing like they won't just be on paper they'll go on all kinds of stuff so yeah neat stuff and i gotta figure out what i'm gonna use these <laughs> these little transparent ones for I, the top two the the craft and such like that's really cool but this one i don't know this one's going to take a little bit of thought uh, before I figure out exactly what to do with it, but neat to have. So it's always fun trying out new things. Check out Yoseka. 
uh, stationery online. You can find them at yosekastationery.com. There will be a link in the description to where I bought all this stuff. Also, thank you very much to my patrons who give me the funding to like just try out a bunch of things and then show you how it works uh, in uh, you know in your life and and in mine. So uh, that's great, and I really appreciate it. So. Thanks very much, patrons. And if you want to be a patron, there's a link for that down below as well. So think about what you put out in the world, make it a better place, and uh, I'll see you. Uh, you'll see me next time. Peace out.